Hi, this is Brian from Hope Church Bedwist with your encouraging word of the week. I was thinking uh, earlier today about the things that I put in my body. I'm, I'm trying to clean up the things that, that I eat and, and my diet a little bit. And I, and I realized I, I have this thing for, for Diet Coke. I tried to give it up a while back and I just, I just couldn't do it. I, I, you know, I don't have very many vices as far as smoking and drinking and all of that, but, but a Diet Coke is really one that I really enjoy and I have a hard time giving it up and people say to me do you know what's in that stuff do you know what it's doing to your body and you need to go on a cleanse diet and you know I look online about what a cleanse diet is and I'm reading all the stuff that people say I should eat to make my body better and you know if you just drank vinegar and ate onions for a month uh, you know no one would be hang around you anymore but your body would be but I don't know about all that but I do know about our spirits and, and cleansing our spirits and sometimes we look at cleansing our spirits the same way that we look at cleansing our bodies that if there's just something that we can do maybe not food that we can eat but something that we can do or something that we can cut out to make our spirits better because sometimes we realize that maybe we're not the people that we hope we would be. Jesus was having a conversation with his disciples at one point about what goes into your body and what comes out of your body. And, and he said, you know, it's not what you eat, it's not what you drink, it's not any of these things that you put into your body that make you holy or clean. Actually, the things that come out of your body, the words that you say are, are an indicator, are a fruit of the kind of heart that you have. And sometimes we, we try and come up with a cleansed diet, so to speak, of spirituality, of maybe things that we should stop doing or things that we should start doing to kind of make our bodies, make our hearts, make our spirits be better. Jesus says that's not, that's not possible because that's not the way it works. Our hearts and our spirits cannot be formed and shaped from the outside in. Our hearts and spirits need to be changed from the inside out. And that's why Jesus said you must be born again. You must have a new heart. Jesus said, I've come to give you a new heart, a new life, a new way, a new spirit. So if you're looking for a, a cleanse diet, I would encourage you to have the ultimate cleansing, and that is looking to Jesus as, as your salvation and as your King. I've done it, and I know so many other people in our life and in our church have done it because we realize we're not where we want to be, we're not where we should be, but we know that there is one who wants to take us where we should be, and his name is Jesus. And I just want to encourage you with that. If you're finding yourself maybe inside, you're just feeling kind of toxic and you're not really sure why, but you need a, a new start, Jesus promises a new start for you. And I want to encourage you to take advantage of his offer and join him in this new walk, this new life. I hope that encourages you. You know, last week we had, uh, last weekend we had our event in the park and a lot of you showed up and I just want to say thank you. It was good to see you. Uh, Wayne David was there. I want to give a shout out to Wayne David for his his uh, visit and his, uh, his speech on Sunday. He joined us for service and he shared some ideas of community with us at church and I just want to say thank you to him. And, and I want to encourage you and invite you all to join us 10.30 Sunday morning or and or 6 p.m. Sunday night at Hope Church Bedwis. We're on the Crescent in Bedwis. We'd love to see you and uh, God bless you and have a great day.